want to review some of the setup steps for getting the Terra and the tile pile set up on the 4640 for automatic use. So this is one of my custom home pages. Uh, there's several different versions of this module that you can use. Uh, this is what I chose here because we are running guidance. We want to be able to have our AB lines down here. We want to be able to turn our auto steer on and off and set our tracks from the same play to run I grade. There's not very much interaction with iGrade on this screen except the iGrade on and off button, which allows it to go in automatic mode. So in order to make adjustments on iGrade, we're going to go into ISO VT. We're going to go into our menu. We're going to pick our universal can controller. And we should see... It. Initially, we're going to see a screen like this that says uh, controller setup. And so we can go through and edit our GPS offsets. So we have our implement receiver height, we have our machine receiver height, we have our implement receiver, and we have the offsets in there for that. Uh, and then we control our, we can configure our external valve. So we have that. Uh, if we had it on at eight or nine R with electronic remotes, those would show up in there. Uh, we go in here and edit our serial port. And we want to make sure that we're at 115.200 for communication. We want to enable all the messages for the version 2 iGrade controller going to the Terra because uh, it will accept all, those info all that information. We want to have the Hertz at 5 uh, to, if so everything matches and communicates. So uh, not too much on this one. we got diagnostics on this page, but the iGrade is the rest of our setup. And... So on this page, it's going to be our home page for this, and it tells us our grade's off. We're in yellow, so it's waiting. Um, we can go into setup, and we can go in here, and a lot of the same stuff we had on the other one, the remote control. If we go into remote control edit here, uh, we can actually go in here, and we can choose our height control options on the iGrade controller. Remote control is going to use the Terra, grade, and plane control are going to be the standard iGrade operation features we had in the past, and then there's a new one in this last software update for depth control. Uh, and then we're going to set the serial port up. That stuff's all set up on that last page. Um, here we go back. Uh, if we were on, these are the same features we would have had for other machines on a tractors that have the CAN bus and the CCD connection. You would have your load limiting and your max cut, and that stuff would be available but it's not in this version of machine. Uh, calibrations, the control sensitivity, that is uh, how fast we're going to react to the up and down on a vertical motion. On a tile plow we're not using roll sensitivity so we're going to kind of ignore that one. SCV thresholds, we do have to go in here and extend test and set your thresholds till you get smooth movement and retract test till you get smooth movement and if you have the hoses hooked up in reverse to the valve, you can just hit click reverse output and it will essentially run it in backwards. So you don't have to switch the hoses around or in this case, replumb it. And as far as diagnostics, it does have a nice screen here for diagnostics where they give us uh, the different color dots and what is enabled or disabled to allow iGrade to go into automatic mode. So we have it's activated. Uh, we have a GPS. We have the elevation valve. It's available. We have it calibrated. If we didn't do that SCV threshold calibration, this says no, and we're unable to go into automatic. We have Terra feeding information, so we have a defined surface, and it's available because the serial port's live. We've calibrated the scraper height uh, using the plane setting in here, so we have to go back to our uh, plane control and add. And, and while we're in a plane control, we zero it to the ground uh, at, a, at an origin point. And down here is if we, if we, uh, we have to have these enabled, so we have to be moving, and we have to have the valve in auto mode uh, in order to get going. So, uh, and then once these are met, then we can toggle the button on the main iGrade page, oops, on the status page, we'd this button would uh, be highlighted and we'd touch it and it would enable it. So, 
and then we would be ready to go.